I would suggest to you that it is neither socially wise nor politically feasible to allow people to drop from a middle income level to the poverty level as computers continue to develop. And we will therefore have to accept methods of maintaining that income. What will be the consequences of new methods of income distribution? First, as soon as a guaranteed income and committed spending were available, the individual will be able to break out of the consumption race if he wanted to do so. He will be able to say, I opt out because he will be entitled to an income. Second, the individual will be able to do what he believes to be important. We could thus set free enormous potential energy and imagination to solve our urgent problems. I would suggest a parallel between the introduction of the guaranteed income and the introduction of limited liability in the 19th century. Limited liability allowed the company to take risks. The guaranteed income allows the individual to take risks, to do what he thinks is important, to do what he thinks is important. Third, the guaranteed income would have a major decentralizing effect on society. If the members of a community can obtain resources without having to attract some form of income-producing jobs, they will be able to decide that they want to develop a totally different form of town, city, or village. They will be able to opt for a garden city, an educational city, or whatever seems to them to be important, because resources will be available on a guaranteed basis.